Hurry up with that iron, Jake. Stop being so jittery. We haven't caught yet. The first time for everything. Not if we play it the way Phil Sheldon told us. Take care of it, Bob. Thanks, Howdy, gents. Bill? Ira? Something going on? Association meeting, Roy. A closed association meeting. That us little fellows ain't welcome to sit in on. No, I didn't know you boys was members. They always let us in before. Tell you what, you loan me $500 and I'll join that highfalutin association. Now, Bill, I don't make the rules for the association. I don't belong. Give my best assent to it, you? You can defend those greasy sack outfits all you want, Cartwright. Maybe the Ponderosa can stand losing 20, 30 head a month, but the rest of us can't. We've got to do something about it. Well, I'm not defending anyone, Simmons, but there is such a thing as proof. From Sheriff Coffey? He can't get proof or anything else. Well, until he does, I suggest that, well, we take the losses. Are you telling us we haven't the right to protect our property against cow thieves? It's Coffee's job. I say let him do it. Coffee. There's only one way to handle them. Chase them off, all of them. I don't go for blanket indictments. Lumping people into a group, pointing the finger at them. That's true, maybe one or two of the small outfits have... Guilty of some rustling, but that doesn't mean they're all guilty. That's your personal opinion. Which reminds me, it's your father who's a member of this association, not you. 
You all know my father and my brothers are all in St. Louis. Well, since they're not here to vote, I don't see why we have to listen to your personal uh, opinion. My father gave me his proxy before he left. To vote as I felt. Looks legal to me. So as I was saying, just because a man has a small outfit, or has had some bad luck, or can't afford to belong to the association, doesn't automatically make him a stock thief. Adams got a point there, Simmons. Make up your mind, Jameson. Do you want to go broke because of these parasites, or do you want to get smart and put an end to it? Like how, Simmons? The same way they did it up in Montana a couple of years ago. When they got through, there wasn't a greasy sacker within 200 miles. What'd they do? The same thing I'm proposing we do. Hire a range detective. You can't be serious. We all know what they are. It's just a fancy name for a hired killer. Coffee can't get the job done, so we hire someone who can. What's wrong with that? Why don't you ask the people up in Montana? Sure, it's true. There wasn't a greasy sack or a small common left, but there was a dozen good men dead, homes burned to the ground. And I hate that'll live for years in their place. Now, is that what you want here? Adam, we've got to do something. As president of this association, I propose that we hire a range detective to put a stop to these losses before we all go bankrupt. Now, let's have a voice vote. Those in favor, say aye. 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 Those against? No. Looks like the Ponderosa has been outvoted, Cartwright. expect him to tell us anything? The association decided to bring in a range detective. Oh, so that's why they kept us out. You won't be satisfied till you drive us all out, will you, Cartwright? You've got a pretty short memory, Shelton. Hadn't been for the Ponderosa, most of us would have gone under long ago. That includes you. You just talk for yourself, Tatum. As far as I'm concerned, Cartwright's no different than Simmons or any of the rest. They ain't gonna let us get big enough to give them any competition. Sheldon, you talk too much and think too little. Well, at least I don't go around calling my neighbors cow thieves just because they don't belong to some fancy association. Would you like to change your vote now, Cartwright? No, I think it's still wrong. Killed, Sheriff. Shot clean through the brisket. Now I'll simmer down, Kobe. Who? Jake Denton. Where'd you find him? Ah, way out in the middle of nowhere, out in Black Oak Canyon. Take him over to Doc Dawson, will you? Yeah. Some of you men will mound up. We'll go out and have a look. Adam, I'd like to have you and Mr. Simmons there come along. this a couple of 44 40s well there's a lot of folks using a 44 rifle nowadays adam this running iron should prove he was a cow thief looks like somebody did us a favor murder's never a favor simmons what's that two bit piece well, it must have fallen out of his pocket with him wearing chaps any man ever see the dentons one without the other? No, oh, Jake and Sam were always together. We better check out their cabin then. Maybe Sam's still there. Hey, boys.
Sam? Sam Denton. Nobody here but me, gents. Well, who are you? Where's Sam? I guess he hightailed it out of here about an hour ago. Well, what's your name? Sherman Clegg. Sherman Clegg? I see you've heard of me, huh? That's nice. I like to be well known. Pretty sure of yourself, aren't you, Simmons? Took it for granted the association would go along with you. Simmons, are you off, Simmons? I got your letter, Mr. Simmons. I got here as quick as I could. Clegg, I know you have a reputation. Now, I can't stop the Cattlemen's Association for hiring a flannel mouth gun, but I sure wish I could. So just you watch your step. That's pretty unkindly, Sheriff. I'm a range detective. I get along fine with the law. I do my job, and I don't bother the law. The law doesn't bother me. Down in Arizona, my last job, I didn't have any trouble with the sheriff. Or up in Montana? That's right, no trouble at all. I didn't get your name, friend. Adam Cartwright. The Ponderosa Cartwrights? That's right. The way I hear it, those two-bit cattle thieves been pestering you, too. Not enough to vote for bringing a man like you in. I'm sure you feel that way, Cartwright. You don't know how it is. man gets around, he throws a long shadow. I mean, he's bound to get a reputation that's all colored up, you know what I mean? Hey, you down there on the end, I've seen you someplace before, haven't I? No. Don't you try throwing no scare into me, Clegg. Your rep don't mean nothing to me. You got it all wrong, friend. We'll have to get together and talk it over. Clegg, I'm going to ask you one question. Did you kill Jake Denton? You mean that man I caught changing brands in the canyon? Yeah, I killed him. That's what you hired me for, wasn't it, Mr. Simmons? Stop the cattle rustling around here? Well, that gives you no right to kill a man, and you know it. Look, Sheriff, I wanted to bring him in to you nice and legal-like. But now he drew a gun on me. I had to shoot him in self-defense. That other hard case that was with him had vouched for that. That is, if you ever find him. Simmons, I'm ready to ride into town if you are. Now, look, Clegg. Oh, Sheriff, don't worry. If you want to see me again, I'll be around. Nice meeting you, Carl, right? You know, maybe I'll stop by and see you sometime, that all right? Nobody's ever turned away from the Ponderosa. no drift fences up there, Mr. Cartwright. I can't prevent Simmons' cattle from getting mixed up with mine. They do it all the time. Don't get upset, Mr. Holtzmeyer. It takes more proof than that to brand a man a cattle thief. But that's not the point. Clegg gave me the warning. He did? Well, not personally. It was left on my door. It had to come from him. So please, whatever you offer me, I know it'll be fair. Sorry, I just can't buy your place. But, Mr. Cortbride, There's no I... reason for you to sell. That's easy for you to say. You didn't receive the warning. 
You know that man is judge, jury, and executioner. I've only got less than 36 hours left. So please, no argument. Whatever you offer me, I'll take. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Ira Tatum said you'd help me. I can't help you if you're going to cut, stick, and run. Phil Shelton said you wouldn't help. Said you wouldn't go against your own kind in the association. That's not true. Well, I guess you just proved who's right. Brings you out this way. Oh, well, I'd like to have a little talk. What are you doing after a fox in the hen house? Oh, there's a dirty wolf sneaking around out here. Sit down, Hill. Cynthia? Yes? Adam Cartwright's here. Adam. Hi, Miss Adam. How oh. are you? Hi, Make yourself to home. I'll bring some coffee. I had a visitor this morning. Yes, I know, Mr. Holtzmeyer. He just sold out to Simmons and pulled out about an hour ago. Sold to Simmons? That's right. We've all had a standing offer from Simmons for a long time. All real generous, too, about 50 cents on the dollar. But then a man doesn't quibble when his life is being threatened. Oh, Claiborne left last week. Holzmeyer this week. Who'll be next? Claiborne, huh? Did you get a warning? Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe he stole a head of beef here and there rather than eat his own. You know, that's the trouble, Adam. We're all getting blamed for a few bad apples. Listen, there's nothing wrong with Mr. Holzmeyer. He's as honest as the day is long. They all look to you, Ira, as a leader. You're one of them. Can't you do something? No, I can't give a man courage when the fear of death has been thrown into him. That Clegg has got them all panicky. Well, he's only one man. One man with a gun and the cold blood to use it. Adam, he's put a bullseye on the back of every small rancher around here. And innocent or guilty, any one of us might be the next target. You know, I can't understand why you let the association bring him in. That well, was a vote, Ira. Ponderosa doesn't control the association or Alf Simmons. Yes. You'd better take a long, hard look at Mr. Alf Simmons. He's just been here two years, but already... I'm way ahead of you. If he runs all of you little ranchers out, what next? Ponderosa, maybe, huh? Exactly. Ira, he's at the barn. away from those hides. I'm just about done, Tatum. 
Those all look like clean brands to me. Hello, Kyrie. I hope I didn't alarm you, ma'am. You've been nosing around my place all week. That's what I get paid for. You're trespassing. I got a right to put a bullet right through you. You know, some people might think different about that. They might think you shot me to cover up for something. You haven't got anything to hide, have you? At least I haven't found any such evidence yet. I'm going to give you a clean bill of health. To whom? Simmons? To the association. Well, they're one and the same. If I catch you sneaking around my place again, scaring my wife, I'll kill you. You couldn't do that, Mr. Taylor. That's just plain murder. Hey, gents, ma'am. Like you take a little ride with me. Well, why should I take a ride with you? Just trying to do you a favor. What's the matter, Carl? Right, you're not afraid to ride with me, are you? Where to? I can't quite describe the place. It's about three hours from here. I'll have to show you. Got the Ponderosa brand on him. How'd you find him? That's my job. What do you think I get paid for? Suppose you tell me. What do you mean by that? This whole business. Intimidation. Unjust accusations. This war of nerves. Is that part of your job? A man's got a guilty conscience. That's not my fault. Property's got to be protected. That gives you a license to trample on people's rights? Turn them into frightened animals. You got these little ranches so rattled, there's no telling what they're liable to do. That's the whole idea. You get a man panicky enough, he traps himself. That works every time. Like turning a wolf into a sheepfold. Come on now, that's no way to talk to a man who's just done you a favor. Especially when you get that many head of cattle to get back to your own spread. Well, it must be about straight up noon. I ought to be getting back to town. I tell you what, Kurt, right? I like you. I mean, even if you don't want to pay me for what I do. So what do you say I help you with these critters and then you buy me a beer and we get back to town? Thanks. Bill Shelton, they brought him in a while ago. Bushwhack. The doc's in there now giving the sheriff his report. Sure leaves his calling card, don't he? Yes, Adam, Ira. Good to have you on hand, Clegg. I'd like to oblige, sir. The doc here dug this 44 slug out of Phil Shelton's body, and we found this two-bit piece in his shirt pocket. Yeah, at least he didn't die broke. Where were you early this morning, Clegg? I got a right to know why you're asking. Because that's when Doc Dawson here says that Shelton was killed. Between eight and ten hours ago. That's yes, uh, sometime between dawn and now, right? That's right. Well, you want to tell him, Adam, or should I? Adam, what's this all about? Well, from early this morning till now, Clegg was with me. Were you giving Clegg an alibi, Adam? I'm just 
telling the truth. Are you sure? All right. I didn't ask that question. But it is a cinch he couldn't be with you and out to Frenchman's Creek at the same time. Frenchman's Creek? That's what we fish shall not of. Frenchman's Creek is glacier fed. Pretty close to freezing this time of year. Everybody knows that. Extreme cold would affect a body, wouldn't it, Doc? Meaning Shelton might have been killed earlier or later and I couldn't tell it by the body? You know your cows, Cartwright. I know my corpses. Well, I'm beginning to believe what Shelton said about where you Cartwright stand. Hire away. You're blowing up a big one out there. Never mind the weather. You figure out anything yet? Do you hear me? I can't help but hear you. No, I haven't figured out anything yet. Well, then I'll figure it for you. Tatum's called a greasy sacker meeting for tomorrow. I want him stopped tonight. I'll either chase him off or leave him with one of your two bit pieces. But Tatum's clean. I've been over him with a fine tooth comb. What's that got to do with it? Tatum can ruin all my plans, especially with the help of Adam Cartwright, so take care of him. But Simmons, your thinking's kind of mixed up, isn't it? I mean, you hired me on as a range detective, not just as another gun. Oh, come on, Clegg. You use your gun for money, period. There'll be an extra little bonus in it for you. I don't hear you, Simmons. Up to now. Up to now, every man I've handled for you deserved it. Now, I'm not about to stick my neck in a noose for you or for anybody else. Especially not for the money. So you're afraid of being accused of just plain murder, huh? I guess that's it. It's kind of a quirk I got. And why did you kill Shelton? He was the worst of the bunch. Probably their leader, you know that. I know nothing of the kind. But I do know that our agreement called for me to be able to name every man for you to take care of. I never asked you to take care of Sheldon. So why'd you kill him? All right. That was a personal matter. It finally came to me where I'd seen that face before. He was hired to bushwhack me up in Montana. I had to kill him. Well, I'm the only one that knows it. So you'll do as I say. You're drinking too much, Simmons. Not too much to give you your orders. You just give me what you owe me up to now. You do it tonight. Now, Tatum can follow up all my plans, and if Adam Cartwright backs him up, you hear me, Clegg? I want Tatum out of the way, or you'll end up with that murder charge against you. Clegg, you heard my orders. Yeah, I heard you.
I'm sorry to trouble you. I had a little accident. My horse fell in the mud four or five miles back. Broke his leg. I had to shoot him. Come in. What's heard you say that nobody's ever turned away from Ponderosa. I just thought I'd take you up on that. Now take off your poncho. All right, you're always making it plain. You don't like me or what I do. I make my living my way. You make yours your way. Yeah, but with you, I don't think it's just a living. Oh? Uh, I think you'd find a way to do what you do, whether you got paid for it or not. I don't know. I never thought too much about it. it pays pretty good, though, most of the time. No, you got an extra bunk. I'd sure appreciate it tonight. Upstairs. Second room on the right. Thanks. In case we need to remember, it's 11, right? Well, you sure got a powerful lot of mistrust for me, Carl, right? at Kelso's stable. I'll pick it up next time I'm in town. I'm not exactly going into town, but I'll see that you get this horse back. I probably won't see you again, Car, right? I'm pulling out. Well, that's the best news I've heard in years. I'm curious, with all the small ranchers still around, why? Well, my business like a gambler's. You got no one to take your losses and leave. Come on, car right. Killing. 
He really stuck his head in a noose this time. It's Cynthia. He's killed Cynthia. Last night, just before the storm. Well, how do you know that? Well, the ground was dry underneath her body. He ambushed her in the yard. And you're sure it was Clegg? Well, we found a 44 shell and a two-bit piece. And his horse was not far away, dead. Well, he's mounted. I gave him a horse. He left here not more than a couple of minutes ago. You did? How come? He spent the night here. He killed Cynthia. You trying to give him another alibi, Adam? I had no way of knowing. We'll get him. Adam, when he got here last night, was he wearing a black poncho? I tried, Roy. He was. Let's go, boys. Nothing about that. Turn chip. around. Now, why did you come in here and hide when you saw the posse coming? Well, as long as I've been in this game, don't you know I can smell trouble? I knew there was something wrong when I saw him riding up out there. Look, I give you my word, I don't know nothing about this killing. Now, I didn't do it. I'm not that low. Well, you just save your breath for the trial, huh? I know who killed her. It was Simmons. It had to be. Now, why would he do murder? He's got you on call. No, that's just it. We had it out last night. He was drunk. He kept demanding I get rid of Tatum for him. Well, I decided I'd had enough of him. I was on my way out of town when my horse fell. Why the sudden reformation? What I don't understand is why he killed Mrs. Tatum. It... Unless he was just too drunk to know the difference. Look, you give me a chance with Simmons, I'll get it out of him. Maybe you didn't kill Mrs. Tatum. But you've killed others. Sure, I've killed. That's my business. But I'll tell you one thing. I, I've always had a reason when, I, when I've done it. They deserved it. It was always within the law. If it hadn't been, I'd have been behind bars or strung up at the end of a rope long before this. That doesn't justify you or your methods. I think they're wrong and should be done away with. Well, that's your opinion. But that's all it is. You're not God. No, I'm not. And that's why I'm taking you back to town to let a judge and a jury decide about you. You saw the mood of that posse. One of those hotheads will put a bullet in me. I'll never get before a judge or a jury. Well, you're a great one for talking up for the little guy, for the guy who needs help. You play God there, too? You just give it to those you like or to anybody who needs it? Well, I need it to help me prove I didn't murder that woman. Do I get it? All right. I'll give you a crack at Simmons. But don't try any tricks. He's still hitting the bottle. Maybe he never left here. He left. What do you want? Well, we just thought we'd drop by. Clegg, what are you doing here? Don't you know the whole town's out looking for you? Oh, why are they looking for him? Killed Ira Tatum's wife last night. You 
You've gone too far, Clegg. The association's washed its hands of you. Killing a woman. Well, you sure have a bad hangover this morning. Clegg spent the night at the Ponderosa. You're lying. They found a two-bit piece under her body and a forty-four shell. Well, now, anybody could have left those there. That your rifle over there? Looks like a forty-four. What are you trying to do, give him an alibi? He made you the laughing stock when he set you up as his alibi to kill Shelton. You messed yourself up this time, Simmons. Where'd you go last night? Don't you question me. Remember what I know. What'd you do, mistake Mrs. Tatum for her husband? Doesn't matter what I did. <laughs> give me a medal for killing you, Clegg. And as for you, Cartwright, you just got in the way of a wild bullet. It's that simple. I told you he did it. Why'd you kill him? I had him winged. I did him a favor. I kept his neck out of a noose. And you put your own in it. Not yet. Stand where you are! Three! Got those guns! Both of you! Get him out! Let me kill our Madonna! He's killing all Simmons! Get him out! Now, let's get him! Come on! Now, look, man, you're making a mistake. Clegg didn't kill Cynthia Tatum. Simmons did. Of course he did. That's why he's dead now, so he can't deny it. Drop that rifle, Clegg. He can't take all of us. Clegg is innocent. You got my word for it. Your word's no good. You alibied for him before, but now we've got him dead to rights. Thought he'd try to bust out of here. Adam, what's going on here? We just heard that Clegg killed Simmons, too. Where is he, Adam? Nobody's going to get that man but me. He's dead. Well, where's the body? In the alley. Uh, sorry it wasn't me that killed him. He didn't kill Cynthia, Ira. You still trying to protect him, Cartwright? Yeah. 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 Right. Hold it now. Hold it, Chance, please. I believe I can prove who killed Cynthia Tatum. On account of the man that done it, fell over some cordwood and tore this out of his poncho. Over there. I believe that's it. Yes, sir. That's Simmons, Poncho. Clegg's is still outside on his saddle. That's what I was trying to tell you. Simmons killed Mrs. Tatum. Well, I guess that's about it. Some of you boys want to be useful. Why, we can take these bodies over to Doc Dawson. Al Simmons. He believed that all he needed to put the noose around Clegg's neck was a two-bit piece. And if Clegg hadn't a run, he'd have been alive and free today. Why do you figure he ran, Adam? Why do you suppose all of his innocent victims ran? I think he found out for the first time how they felt. He wrote his own epitaph. Get a man panicky enough and he traps himself. 